Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Davo from Archon Esports bringing you a StarCraft 2 1v1 cast today. Unfortunately, Phonix is gone. Oh no, so it's just me. Like, quite a lot of our other casts are just me. Um, today in the bottom left hand corner we have our Red Terran, who is none other than Fluid JRAC, part of Fluid Gaming. And in the top left hand corner we have Song, who of course is a very, very very well-known French um, Terran player, and he's quite good actually, he's been around for a while, and yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, so I mean, I hope you like the uh, other videos that we've done since Phonics has been here. Just a little bit of information about our stream, our stream is um, operational at the moment, but it's not. It's probably not on at the time of me casting it, so, you know. Um, but we will be stri streaming various things on there, but mainly just Smite and MOBAs and, you know, gameplay of all sorts, um, just for the moment. We're at www.twitch.tv forward slash Archon Esports. That is where our stream lies. Um, both players blocking off the top of their ramps right now, so it'll be interesting to see what we what actually comes out of this it could just be a early expand um, because obviously the blocking off the top of rank ramp is the hallmark of defensive play for Terran the world over song has gone for the uh, hockey his command center to every key method so he can kind of mash whichever keys he likes and he'll still get his command center which of course at this stage in the game is what you are pretty much using the most, or at least that's what you should be using the most, pretty much all the way through the game, to constantly make them SCVs. Um, a Marine going down onto the low ground for J-Ray at the moment, so, and an SCV getting into position here, he's nearly got 100 minerals, so I'm pretty sure we're actually going to see an expand from J-Ray. Boom, down it goes, the expand has gone down indeed. Important to note, J-Ray hasn't actually scouted his opponent yet, um, so he doesn't actually know whereabouts on the map his opponent is, so it'll be interesting to see how JRA takes care of this in the future. A supply depot coming down here as well, which of course is very, very good for spotting any shenanigans that goes down. JRA scouting is usually quite good. In the last games that we've casted against him, uh, sorry, casted while he's been playing, his scouting has been very, very good indeed, actually, and you can really, really tell a very good player when they scout properly. More or less, that's what I'm trying to say. Song is also expanding as well. Um, I know that Terrans of a high level, like these two, do expand um, pretty much fast expand against m many matchups. They feel happy to do that, and I think in many ways it's because Terran Terran forces in the Terran army is just such an effective killing machine. The Marines do so much DPS. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Song's expansion about halfway done while JRAC's expansion is about to finish. I'm sure we will see that morphed into an orbital command. Yep, instantly. It actually did that as I was saying it. So there we go. Awesome. And we have a factory going down for JRAC right now, so it could be interesting to see if we have some sort of cheeky 111 sort of play coming out here, like an expand 111. Um, we do have two gas down, so that's definitely an option for him that at the moment, um, he is building up his gas for something, I'm sure of it, and a reactor coming down on the barracks, and I'm sure, I'm sure that reactor is probably either going to be used for Hellions or Marines, <laughs> that is my guess of the day, meanwhile, Song has been kind of doing this defensive band of Marines, making sure to catch any unsuspecting enemies that warp up, walk up this ramp right here, and the second gas coming down for Song as well at the moment. So Song not taking as heavily as JRAC. Song um, just sticking with the barracks at the moment, not actually going for a factory or anything like that at all. Meanwhile, JRAC ha has got a starport down kind of here. It's in a sort of a hidden position. It'll be interesting to see, really. I mean, JRAC is kind of technically close by air. I mean, I think this would probably be the actual close by air position up here in the map. Um, but, I mean, this is close enough. He's not cross positions, at least. An attack lab going down on the starport. So, it looks like we might see some banshees um, coming out. And I don't... So, yeah, that, that's about that. Ooh, Hellion's on the map right now. And I think... 
I think that might be JRAC's uh, scouting party, <laughs> basically. And the Marines at the top of the Rav and Marauder taking down one of the Hellions. The other one escapes. Com oh, a little bit scratched, but still fine. Still absolutely fine. Uh, our Banshee is rallied to the back of the base. Cloaking Field is on the way right now. Um, so, obviously, the Banshees from JRAC will be causing problems up in Song's base. Probably. That is something that we can expect. And the reactor uh, and tech lab have been swapped over on the barracks right there. So the uh, units can be, you know, the correct units can produ be produced. I'm sure that we'll uh, be seeing siege tech from JRAC at some point very, very soon indeed. Because it's kind of a staple of Terran versus Terran. You need to get siege tanks. That is just something that does happen. Meanwhile, Song does actually look like he's going to be pretty nomadic and go for a push. He will probably see the Banshee. Well, he's definitely seen it now because the Banshee is attacking him. And J-Ray just poking around with the Banshee. And right now for Song, it is absolutely no secret that there is a Banshee on the field. Um, so that's pretty important to note. That Song does actually know. Apparently I've lost my battle connect Battle.net connection. Which is interesting, seeing as I don't need it anyway because I'm casting. Oh. <laughs> See that? That's the truth right there. And the blue flame upgrade on the way for um, Song at the moment as well. Sorry, JRAC at the moment as well. Um, and I mean, let's see what he's getting. He's getting another factory. So it does actually look like maybe JRAC is actually going for a mech orientated play. He does have a lot of Hellions on the field. Not so much bio. Meanwhile, up at the base right here, we have kind of a double-pronged Banshee attack. This guy up here needs to be really, really careful about the four or five Marines down here that are trying to kill him off. Meanwhile, the other one at the back of the natural is going to get away doing absolutely quite a lot of damage, actually. He nearly takes down that supply depot, but then uh, he gets taken out, unfortunately for him. He will never go and see his wife and children ever again. He is just dead. He could not get close in time. And j Ray still flying around Song's base harassing the hell out of him with this Banshee and of course pretty lethal combination if you haven't scouted it coming let's actually see no so Song had not scouted this coming at all um, but I mean he had enough kind of intuition to build a missile turret there which is something the Terran do like to do oh is he gonna get taken away scan goes down and the Banshee was in trouble slightly there floundering a little bit but no no she is absolutely fine, but she won't be fine if these Vi Vikings come out and try and kill her. Oh no. Run, Banshee, run! Run! Are the Vikings going to be able to get the Banshee? That is the question. No, they turn away. Oh no, they turn away. Maybe because the uh, Banshee was stealth, they thought that they had lost her, but no, she was still there doing all the shenanigans she needed to do. Meanwhile, Song is actually getting his stim upgrade up right now, which of course is very, very important indeed. And he is also getting Cloaking Field as well um, for his own Banshees that are about to pop. So countering fire with fire, as it were, or harassment with harassment. Mm. Yes, indeed. Meanwhile, back at JRAC's base, it definitely looks like he's going for a mech orientated style of play. He's got a lot of factories, a lot of tech labs on those factories. Siege, uh, siege upgrades are done. No armory down just yet, I don't think. No, no armory down just yet for those upgrades, but that's absolutely fine. He has been harassing a lot with that Banshee and probably making Song pr feel pretty uncomfortable. These Marines are going to be scouting around the map. I'm sure these guys are probably just going to go check if there is a third base on the way. But they will need to be careful not to get picked off by this Banshee who is menacingly coming up the map, all cloaked and ready to go. Oh, meanwhile, there's actually quite a big, uh, there's quite a big drone or SCV transfer actually here to the third base of JRAC, which he has taken um, in a position that isn't so close to Song's base, which is probably a good idea. Song hasn't actually been able to scout it either, because I think he might have presumed that it was up here instead. Oh, wait. No, Song has scouted it. I think that little bit of blood right there is from a Marine that has recently perished and has actually seen that there is an expansion up here. So, by that logic, let's actually just double check. Yep, so Song does know that there is an expansion there from JRAC, and is probably coming with his bio ball 
Vikings, Banshees to come and sort it out. The air support there, leaving the bio ball behind a little bit, which is something that he might not want to do so readily. Oh no, Hellions. Hellions kill Marines very quickly. And the Hellions want to get there and just get a line on the Marines like that. And oh my goodness, that is a lot of dead Marines very, very quickly. Wow. That's crazy. So there we go. Lots of dead Marines. The only thing uh, that is really annoying for JRAC at the moment is the Banshees that are just shooting down his guys with ease. And the worst thing is JRAC actually got a scan off there. There's just nothing in his army that can shoot up at the moment. And Song is just going to start shooting at JRAC's uh, workers right now, working in and around the mineral line, taking out all of the guys who are trying to build the missile turrets. But I just, yeah, JRAC is pulling away right now. After all, it's a pretty, unfortunately, futile effort to repair and, you know, make these missile turrets survive, ultimately. It'll be interesting to see what JRAC is actually going to do about these, but Song just backs off instead. Song has just left. I mean, the Banshees... Oh, the Banshees are running out of cloak. Okay, that's fair enough. I mean, Jerry C didn't have really all that much to counter that. But the Banshees were about to run out of cloak, so I suppose that's a worthwhile venture. Meanwhile, weapons plus one uh, for vehicles on the way for Jerry C right now. Which, of course, is pretty important, seeing as he is going very largely uh, mech. Suddenly, that anti-air is around in uh, the form of a Thor. I'm sure it's not the only thought that we're going to see this game. Um, and there we go. The Banshee learns the hard way not to mess around when there is a Thor about. The JRAC still needs that golden scan to kill off this uh, Banshee and stop her from having fun. <coughs> and there it is. The Banshee actually goes too close to the uh, range of this missile turret. It does get taken down by the Thor. Meanwhile, Song is actually taking a fourth expansion up here. And so is JRAC at the moment. Both players taking their fourth expansions pretty quickly. A little bit of a note, Song is slightly further ahead in the expansion. In the expansion race, as it were. <clears throat> but here we have JRAC moving out with his, quite frankly, very large uh, mech army at the moment. And these siege tanks will do immeasurable amounts of damage to Marines and Marauders, especially if they're siege. Oh, Banshee nearly getting away right there. She is stealth, which of course is very, very handy for her. I mean, she won't die. Maybe she'll get her first kill before she dies. That'd be interesting. <coughs> and here we go. JRAC needs to see job right here. That's exactly what he does. Now let's watch these Marines and Marauders simply disappear. Oh my god. I mean, maybe Song might have done well to land those Vikings there. I don't know. <coughs> <clears throat> land them on top of the sea tanks, but they'd be gone pretty damn quickly. <coughs> it does look like this Thor is going to get taken down. Down he goes. Unfortunately for him. And is this siege tank? Yeah, the siege tank on the end gets sniped right there, and Song is going to push in with this army and try and do as much damage as he can right now. Jerry C is just running at the moment, but he just runs into his reinforcements that's ready and waiting and pushes back on Song like this. And Jerry's attack at the moment is actually kind of relentless. <coughs> and he is ahead in supply in quite a big way compared to Song. His expansion over here is up and mining. Song isn't quite got that far just yet. And it's nice to see a mech play in a TVT, I will say that, because more often than not it's marines, tanks and medvacs, um, because they are very kind of cool units, but this is nice, it's, it's nice to see someone mixing it up, I think. Vehicle weapons plus two on the way for JRAC, and vehicle armor plus one on the way, that is correct, yes! Also, siege tanks constantly reinforcing and all that good stuff. Meanwhile, Song has actually got his um, level 3 upgrades, his 3 weapons and 3 armor. That is up and ready to go almost. I mean, it's definitely started, let's put it that way. And, of course, that will increase the effectiveness of his army as a full. 
and it doesn't look like these guys are going to walk much closer to that um, because otherwise they will get blown to pieces and JRAC is just quite quite clearly walking around right now and doing hella amounts of damage, like quite a lot of damage indeed. Ooh, and the Planetary Fortress receiving some siege tank shells to the face. Uh, the Banshee, unfortunately for her, getting caught up in a scan and dies pretty damn quickly and I'm not sure what Song can do here to protect his planetary and the answer is nothing because the planetary is dead. Song with this kind of small army here just I suppose wondering what he's going to do against this massive force of siege tanks and I genuinely think that Song is in a massive amount of trouble right now. JRAC needs to siege up these tanks and that's exactly what he does and this bio is just going to disappear so quickly. Uh, the Vikings have landed, but I genuinely don't think it's going to be enough. There are too many fours on the field, really. Vikings, as a ground unit, aren't fantastic. And there's well played from Song, and it was very well played indeed. Um, JRAC can be very, very happy that he's just beating Song, because Song isn't, isn't a small fry in StarCraft world. I have heard of him before, definitely. And, yeah, that was a very decisive victory. Very clean, nice. And also, another Hellion up here just taking care of business as well, which I failed to, uh, I neglected to mention before. But there you go. Alright guys, well thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was a solo cast this time and no phonics, but hey, you know, things happen like that sometimes, unfortunately. Oh dear. Uh, have a nice day, have a nice day even, enjoy playing StarCraft, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.